going for you? Awesome, man. Awesome. Training's been going great for uh, about eight weeks now. Been up 5, 5.30 every morning down at the gym before work and down there after work. So I'm ready. How long are you going to get this win coming up? More hungry than I than I was when I got off that scale before I ate that fruit, man. Because, I mean, this is pro now. There's no reset buttons. Once you do this, once you go pro, there's no looking back. You know, there's no reset and there's, the losses count forever, and I ain't losing. We're going to start with this guy here tonight. Now, now you're fighting for, for cash. That's a little more motivation than anything else right now. Isn't it? That's right. I don't like working. <laughs> what, do you, what do you know about your opponent when you shut up? Uh, I mean, I could only find two videos on him, so I don't know much about him. I just, uh, I know he lost his last fight by a mounted guillotine to uh, Ben Willard. He shot in, got front headlock, and didn't try to pull guard. I don't know, but um, I've seen his, most of his wins come by armbar, so I mean, I'm not going to play in his guard. I don't do that kind of stuff anymore. And um, I've seen most of his losses came by guillotine, so we'll see what happens. I'm, I feel comfortable wherever the fight goes. It doesn't matter. I feel that I'm in the best shape that I've been in. So, I mean, I'm just ready to go out there and perform, ready to, to – this is the fun part, you know. I mean, the hard part's over. I'm ready to have fun now. How much have you stepped it up over there at Renegade? Well, everybody's stepped it up. I mean, we, we, we have to. Or we had to go somewhere else. Um, I thought it was a great opportunity. Um, to fight 125 one last time, so I was figured I'd, uh, I'd jump on it. Um, what's the training been like? Uh, I don't know how many fights you had between May and now, but what's the training been like? Just waiting, waiting, waiting around for something to come up? Yeah, I just kind of, you know, just waited around, waiting on the first opportunity as, as far as a bigger show. Um, man, training was training was good as always. I mean, we train all the time anyway, whether we're fight training or, I mean, it's always fight training. So. Last time uh, XFC was here in, in August, they signed three guys uh, to a contract. Do you think maybe the potential is there if you do something uh, pretty spectacular for them that you can keep it going with the big show here? Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Uh, obviously, my my first objective is to win, and then uh, and then I'll think about all that stuff. But yeah, but definitely. Uh, how's it feel to be uh, fighting again, especially not too long ago? You guys fought for the uh, fight for the show. We stays in shape, fool. Well, I think uh, fighting in Charlotte is one of the best things for us. You know, this is our backyard, and our opponents are crossing the line into our backyard, so they they have to face the dingo and the leprechaun. I mean, they're going to go after the leprechaun's gold. And they're going to try to take my bone, and they're going to lose an arm. Wait, 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 wait. This is Carol's TV. How are you doing today out there, TV world? I need to ask you a question. I mean, is this what you want to see? You want to see the Carols talking, or you want to see the Carols fighting? BeAFanTickets.com. Get your tickets. You know you don't want to miss this fight. How much is the crowd going to energize you guys since you guys are right in the backyard? <clears throat> You got your fans coming down. You got the whole Carol Nation coming down to see you out there. Well, everybody, we we, we love seeing everybody. We everybody gets us pumped up. We just like to see a good crowd and everybody's excited and we, we entertain the fans. That's what that's what we're here for. So, this guy's good. Uh, anything. Well, um, I mean, in our backyard, you know what? And if you would have grew, grown up with us when we were in Florida. And you come to our backyard, I mean, you got to get locked in the cage with us. You got to get beat on. You, you got to get thrown in the pool. Uh, if you were lucky, you got to slam Roger, and it was a big to-do. Or you got to see me get slammed through a table that was on fire. I mean, it, it's all fun and games then, but now, like you said, they're coming into our backyard, and all of our fans are coming to watch us. They're not coming to watch them. They're coming to watch them lose, and they're coming to watch them take one of the beatings of a life in our backyard. And in Roger's case, again. Again. Yes, again. Again. Not just once, but again. And, and, and any time anytime we give a beating, it's, it's, it's a fun thing. It's not a bad thing. It's a fun thing. This is just a job. We enjoy this. And if I'm correct, your opponent asked for this. Yes, he did ask for this. This is the, this is the uh, second time you're fighting uh, Josh Egan. Josh Egan's again. What, what's the rematch? Like? Roger Carroll versus Josh Egan's too. What are your thoughts? 
Lots of pain. You heard it from the from the leprechaun. Lots of pain.